Hi guys, the final review in my Super 7 Club Greyskull uh, line is Shira. Now, I was actually dreading her because I've seen the photos of her online. Um, and she does not look great, but uh, let's go, have an, go ahead and have a quick look at the box. So it's the standard box. She has this really cool art on the back. Notice her amazing eyes, which she doesn't have on the figure. And she has a bio there, so if you want to read the bio please feel free to pause and have a read um, we'll spin her around and free her from the box okay so here she is out of the box um, um, she feels a little bit fragile to me um, her joints feel quite um, I don't know just yeah just very fragile uh, her hair is amazing she's got like perfectly sculpted hair her face sculpt looks great but her paint is pretty bad like mine has just uneven eyes uh, one's higher than the other it's hard to capture on camera but in person it looks really bad um, I'm going to get her repainted anyway so I'm not too worried um, but she also has this weird paint um, across her chest it's like she's been out in the Sun too long and her boobs are sunburnt so I don't know what that's about I don't know if I can maybe remove that paint because it is really unnecessary it seems to be just really bad shading um, you know she has really good boots uh, her cape is really soft now the other thing that is worrying to me is that her skirt is a soft rubber but it's painted so I'm worried that over time that paint will start to break down or maybe even the, the soft rubber of this skirt will break down um, so I'm, I really don't know how she's going to hold up over time. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's have a quick look at her articulation. Um, her head goes side to side, not up and down. Her hair sort of gets in the way of that. I mean, it's quite a soft plastic, but um, it's not going to allow for, for too much turning. I mean, you could probably still get some uh, dramatic poses out of her. Um, she has... Uh, up and down she doesn't have a, a ball joint as such it's more of a um, two separate joints um, the elbow is the full circle joint the way uh, if you have sorceress she has the same joint uh, she has waist articulation it's under her uh, belt there so it turns just a little bit I wouldn't try to force it too much just because I don't want any paint rub or you know <laughs> anything to break uh, she has um, the legs move out forwards and backwards but they don't spin she doesn't have a thigh cut she has knee joints that kind of a kind of a ratchet joint actually and she has the boot the 360 turning boots um, so there you go that's her now the good thing about her is that she's actually taller than Teela Teela in this line was way too short and actually when I line them up on camera they kind of look the same height, but um, Shira is definitely taller than Teela. I mean, she's got the big hair, but you can see their eyes don't line up at all. Uh, yeah, so that's a, that's a small win that we got a, a taller figure. So she's you know a bit more comparative to the males in the line. Um, and here she is next to my classic Shira. So this classic Shira I had repainted. I will get my friend. Danny who repainted her to redo this Shira as well so hopefully we'll get something a little bit more filmation uh, styled out of her um, oops, just focus that um, now actually speaking of getting her repainted a few people have asked me about my sorceress and my Teela that I was having repainted um, I've asked Danny to hold on to those heads because I knew I would be sending him Shira because I saw photos of her online uh, so once I get uh, Teela and Sorceress back and Shira back I will do a, a video showing the the repainted heads and I will check with Danny to see if he wants his uh, contact details given out um, you know if he wants to do more commission work for people I'm not sure of his schedule so um, I will find out and I will come back to you guys on that oh and I almost forgot she comes with this uh, sword to shield shield the small handle on the back and a sword to a boomerang, which as an Australian, I appreciate. So there we go, guys. That is a look at uh, Club Grey Skull Shearer from Super 7. Stick around and I will post some photos. Thanks, guys.